Hello, welcome to Matt Twist CG Studio. As the title of this video suggests, today we are going to make a yoga rubber mat in 3ds Max with Corona. So let's get right into it. Let's add an helix shape into the scene. Make the first radius 30 cm, the second radius 5 cm, the height 0 and the turns to 6. Rotate it 90 degrees and then add an extrude modifier with a value of 70 cm. Next add an edit poly modifier and a shell modifier. Give the shell modifier a value of 1.2 on the inner amount. Now go back in the edit poly modifier, select all the edges and scale them this way. Now on top of that add another edit poly modifier and also a turbo smooth modifier. In the first edit poly modifier we need to edit a couple of vertices from the beginning and the end of the line. This is the shape we have at the moment. We need to rotate this in 90 degrees. We need to select these edges in the front and these edges in the back. And in the front view we need to select the edges in the beginning of the 3D model and in the end of it. Now add a chamfer modifier on top of that. The amount value we need is 0.5. We need to add two segments and a depth of 0.5 in the negative. Turn on the Turbo Smooth modifier and convert this 3D model into a duplicate body. Now we need to add some materials. We need to use three materials. Assign the first material to the entire 3D model. Select these two rows of faces. Grow the selection we made and then add the second material. After that we need to shrink the selection again to the last two rows and add the other white material. Add another tube of smooth modifier to the 3D model. Add an FFD modifier and make the model a little smaller. Duplicate the model. On the first model add another FFD modifier 4x4. Select the outward lattice point and lower them down. Convert the second 3D model to add the poly and let's make the second model more irregular. Select these faces and now let's use the soft selection with the edge distance option. Raise it to as much as you can and also raise fall off to include a couple of loops. On the top view, pull it out and then lower the fall off and pull it back in. Now we need to repeat the process for the end of the 3D model. Add another FFD to the second shape and select the outer lattice point and lower them too. Let's put both variations into the scene and let's work on the materials. We don't need these three nodes, all we need is the corona rubber material, this one in the end. Add it to the first slot and now let's edit the material. Let's lower the noise for the bump to 0.05 and the corona trip planner to around 90. Now let's use the corona converter to change the legacy material to corona physical material. Lower the bump to a value of 2. And let's add a little bit more displacement. Collapse these nodes together and let's duplicate the main material three times. Add the two others in their specific places and let's duplicate now the color bitmap. On the second one use a color of purple and on the last one use a white color. Let's make the first color a little darker and let's check the results. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next video.